Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at blood alcohol content. We'll look at the limits, the legal limits for New South Wales for different drivers and we'll also look at the definition of blood alcohol content. So the blood alcohol content or BAC is the measure of alcohol concentration in the bloodstream. It is measured in grams of alcohol per 100 milliliters of blood a BAC of 0 0.02 means that there are 0 0.02 grams or 20 milligrams of alcohol in every 100 milliliters of blood. So for young drivers in New South Wales, the state has a zero BAC limit for all learner and provisional drivers. So for any L plate or P plate drivers or motorbike riders, it is a zero alcohol limit. Now for drivers of vehicles or heavy vehicles um, or carrying dangerous goods or drivers of public vehicles such as taxis or bus drivers, their legal limit is under 0 0.02 and for everyone else it's 0 0.05. Let's have a look at some examples now. So in example one, Stacy has three large glasses of wine over two and a half hours. A large glass is 1.5 standard drinks and she weighs 53 kilograms. The formula for BAC for a female is 10N minus 7.5H over or divided by 5.5M. So M stands for the mass, H stands for the hours, and N stands for the number of standard drinks. Okay, so for A, calculate Stacy's BAC after two and a half hours. So I'm going to underline some important points in the question. Okay, so we can see that her weight is 53 kilograms. It's for 2.5 hours. Now the standard drinks, okay, if I want to work that out, standard drinks is going to equal, she had three glasses and each glass had 1.5 standard drinks in it. So that's going to work out to be 4.5 standard drinks that she's had. So now for part A, putting that information in, so BAC for the female is going to equal 10 multiplied by 4.5 minus 7.5. Now the hours was 2.5 all over 5.5 multiplied by the mass, which is 53. And if we calculate that, that's going to work out to be 0 0.094. So that's part A. Now part B, if Stacy has no more alcohol, determine how much longer she must wait until her BAC returns to zero. So this one we're after is in terms of hours. How long is it going to take? So I'll do part B here. So I'm going to use the same formula, but I want the BAC to equal zero. So I'm going to let that equal zero. I'm going to use the same formula. So it's 10 multiplied by the, stand, the standard drinks, which is 4.5. Now this one, I'm after the actual hours, how long it's going to take. So that will be 5.5 multiplied by 53. Okay, what I need to do now is trying to solve this as an equation. First of all, I'm going to try and move this to the other side. Because it's divided by that, I'm going to multiply both sides by 5.5 by 53. Okay, and that still is going to equal zero on that side. But now I've got 5 minus 7.5 H. Okay, 
Now I'm going to subtract. That's 10 multiplied by 4.5, so I'm going to subtract 45. And then that will give me minus 45 equals negative 7.5 h. So we're almost there with this problem. The final step, what I need to do is divide both sides by negative 7.5. And that will give me a solution of H equals six hours. So that means Stacy will need to wait six hours until her blood alcohol content returns to zero. Let's have a look at example two now. So example two, it's very similar to what we've just looked at. However, this one's a BAC for a male. So the formula below shows the BAC for a male. And you can see it's very similar, except for this part down the bottom. It's a little bit different. So this question, Charlie weighs 70 kilograms and consumes four standard drinks in two hours. What is his BAC correct to significant figures? So let's underline some key points. And we want it to two significant figures. So what I would like you to do here, pause the video, use those key points of information to use in your formula to solve this problem. Okay, if I have a look at that, BAC of a male. Okay, so it's 10 by the number of standard drinks, which is 4, minus 7.5 times the number of hours, which was 2, all over 6.8 times the weight, or the mass. Okay, and if I Type that into my calculator, that's going to equal 0 0.0525, and that's going to continue. However, we need to round it to two significant figures. So I start from the left, move into the right. At the moment, two, I have three significant figures. So I need to look at this third one. Because it's a five, if it's five or above, I need to round up. So therefore, correct to two significant figures, that's going to be 0 0.053. Let's have a look at the final example now. So this one, the formula below is used to estimate the BAC for males. So we've just looked at this formula. Now this one, Sam weighs 72 kilograms. He starts drinking at 6.30 p.m. and stops at 9 p.m. During this time, he consumes three standard drinks. What is his approximate BAC at 9 p.m.? Again, pause the video here and attempt this, this problem yourself. First thing I'm going to do to solve this, I'm going to underline some of those key points. Okay. So, with this one, I haven't been given the number of hours. I need to determine what's the time difference between 6.30 and 9 p.m. So that's going to be two and a half hours. So the hours equals 2.5. Everything else we have in the question. So let's go ahead and solve. So 10 multiplied by the number of standard drinks, which is 3, minus 7.5, multiplied by the number of hours, and we just work that out to be 2.5. 6.8 multiplied by his what mass? 72. And if I type that into my calculator, that's going to work out to be a BAC of 0 0.023.